What's going on guys? This video is going to be explaining a little bit about what Monero is and how you can actually go about mining it. So Monero is a privacy focused cryptocurrency and it's actually kind of the unofficial currency of the dark web. A lot of people think traditional cryptocurrencies are anonymous. You can literally look up every transaction ever made on the blockchain and see who sent what address, what amount. Monero on the other hand is decentralized. It's also completely anonymous. Even if you get a uh, deposit from someone, you can't see where that comes from. This makes it ideal for people doing business on the dark web, but it also is just useful for anyone who doesn't want everyone being able to see where they're spending their money. Freedom. So one of the things that's really cool about Monero is it uses the random X algorithm. And what that means is it's basically just as efficient for you to mine on your computer or GPU as it is for someone with like a specialized mining rig, which means that anyone can mine it still and earn like passive income, which means that more people do it and the network is actually more decentralized than Bitcoin because it can come from anyone. So yeah, let's show how it's done. Um, so if you open up your browser of choice, go to getmonero.org. I'll link this in the description. You want to go to downloads and then go to Monero GUI wallet right here. It's available on like every major operating system and uh, just scroll down to whatever you got and go ahead and click the download link. When you get it open, it's going to look a little something like this. If you have a wallet, you can go ahead and log in using your mnemonic seed. Uh, but otherwise, you want to click create a new wallet and then uh, just give it a name and a location to be saved at, go next, and then it will give you this seed right here. Uh, you're gonna wanna save that in a place that you'll be able to remember it. That's how you log into your wallet. Um, don't share it with anyone else or else they'll be able to log in as well. Um, then you're gonna click next. It'll test you on that seed, so make sure you actually do save it, and then uh, you can just continue the steps. When you get to the part that says mode selection, make sure you click advanced mode that will download the blockchain to your computer so you can uh, start mining. That's pretty important. It actually used to be way harder to mine Monero. You typically needed to use like a miner like XM rig um, and then find a pool and everything. And now the GUI wallet has it built right in. It's actually super simple. So here's how you do it. When you get logged in, it's gonna look something like this. It might say that your node is synchronizing when you start off or it definitely will if you uh, choose the right menu. That does take a while because it's basically got to get you caught up with the like, current state of the blockchain. It, depending on your operating system, it can take a couple of hours. So just be sure to plan ahead. You can leave it running. It will do all that by itself. But yeah, once you get, you get that set up, mining is actually pretty straightforward. Um, again, if you set your wallet up in the wrong mode, what you can do is you can go to settings, go to node, and then just click on local node and hit start daemon. Um, that will get everything up to date. But yeah, so to start mining, we're going to go to advanced uh, and then click on this mining tab right here. Um, and you're going to have two options uh, for the mining. So the mining is basically your computer working on its own to try to um, get solutions. P to pool is like a special type of peer to peer pool mining, if you're familiar with that is for other Bitcoins, but basically you're working as a team with other computers to solve solutions. And what that means is you get a lot of, uh, you get payouts a lot more frequently, even though you're splitting them amongst other people, um, it's just more consistent. Pool mining is really, really inconsistent. Um, and it's pretty rare that you actually do find a solution alone. Um, so I recommend using peer to pool. Change the amount of CPU threads that you're gonna use. Um, most people recommend to use half of what your computer allows, but you can bump that up if you're not really using your computer or anything. And then when you click start mining right here, it's gonna give you the option to download the mining software. And uh, what you wanna do is just click yes, and then that's gonna start downloading whichever one you selected. Um, you can click okay, and then you can click start mining. Most of the time when you do that, this Windows security uh, message is going to pop up. Go ahead and click that and then click this drop down right here and go allow on device. Now, a lot of times when you click start mining, you'll get a firewall warning as well. You can just click allow access again. Um, I'll talk about why that is in a second. Right here, you can see your hash is a second. Um, and then down here, it will say connected plus mining. So I know it can be concerning when your antivirus software flags something, um, but this is pretty standard with Bitcoin mining. The reason being that a lot of viruses have Bitcoin miners in them so that hackers can use your computer to mine Bitcoin for them. And as a result, they're almost all flagged as malicious software. 
Um, so you just need to go ahead and then uh, like confirm that you're the one actually doing the mining within your antivirus software for them to be um, allowed. If you have multiple antiviruses, you will need to allow it through each of those. So just something to be aware of. In mining Monero, you're not going to become like a millionaire off it, but it is a good way if your computer is just sitting to have it be able to make some spending cash for you. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and uh, stay tuned for more.